Yesterday, Nintendo dropped a bomb on us. The Nintendo 3DS and Wii U online functionality has been disabled. I just wanted to take the time to commemorate these legendary consoles. Oh yes, that moment of silence was great. Thank you. Okay, so now, I just wanted to talk about the situation that Nintendo has put themselves in. You know, you see, cutting off the store functionality from these devices last year was pretty bad. But now, resulting into cutting off the online functionality of these consoles this year is even worse. Because the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U still had players to this day go back and play their old favorite games from those consoles but now nintendo decided to cut off the functionality so players can't experience the games how they want to anymore the only way to get nintendo 3ds games after the closure of the store last year is either from buying third-party sellers or getting it from third-party sellers or by just buying the game. If you already have the game, you can re-download it. That's, that's the only two ways. Now, there's a third way that's very suspicious of you to do. But is it now justified to do it? Because Nintendo decided to remove these games from being played ever again. Even the most popular games that came out on these consoles aren't even ported to the Nintendo Switch. Yes, that of course is The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, Mario Kart 7, but do we really need Mario Kart 7? That was the best selling game on the Nintendo 3DS. Anyways, Super Mario 3D Land, Pokemon X and Y, Omega Ruby, and Sun and Moon. Omega Ruby Alpha 7 and Sun and Moon. Okay. And Animal Crossing New Leaf, but we can give that to Animal Crossing New Horizons because it's kind of the same thing. But this game is still great to this day. Now that Nintendo has gotten rid of the online functionality, you can no longer play online with your friends. Even if you have a Nintendo Switch, it could just be a fun night out to just play the old games, the original games. Mario Kart 7, one of the greatest Mario Kart games of all time. Animal Crossing New Leaf, another fantastic Animal Crossing game. They got rid of this. People were sad already that they got rid of the store. But they kind of for brushed it off and forgave them. Because they were still able to play the games with their friends. But now, that is no longer a thing. And it's really, really sad because I was having a great time playing games online. I was playing Mario Kart 7 online. I played with some, a few friends and just on a random online people. It was pretty fun. It was really, really fun playing that. Now, this is kind of interesting how they decided to cut off the store without any warning yesterday at 4 p.m. No warning besides maybe the day that it happened. They, were, they did warn you last year, but it's, they didn't tell you an exact day. Anyways, back to the story. So, they, they tell you, oh, we're cutting off the online functionality. Now, you see, you know what yesterday was, right? An eclipse. Yes. An eclipse happened where the sun goes between the moon. You know what an eclipse is. Anyways, this happened, and it we haven't seen an eclipse in over 20 years. It's kind of funny how... They decided to cut the store off yesterday. Or not the store, the online functionality. That is really, really funny. People who love those consoles still to this day were sad about it. But to be honest, I get Nintendo's point of view. The Nintendo 3DS has been out for over 10 years. And they replaced it. Now, 
They replaced it with a console, the Nintendo Switch. People are mostly playing those games online now, to the Nintendo Switch. You know what re was really interesting to me? You know what was awesome to me? You didn't have to pay for Switch Online. The 3DS came with the online functionality just there. You didn't have to pay an extra $20 a year. It was fantastic. This brought joy to my eyes. Making it awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. To play the game. No Switch Online. No having to go to the store and get a Switch Online card. Because why not? Nintendo also put themselves in a big deep dark hole. Now, you see, I don't really like talking about this in on this channel, but let's be honest. Nintendo has put themselves into a hole. Because you see, the only way to either get the games from the 3DS or Wii U, such as <coughs> The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, um, is to pirate them. Because they won't want to bring them to the Nintendo Switch. See, these games, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, which I previously mentioned, would work fine on the Nintendo Switch. But for some reason, they didn't want to. And also, if I'm being honest, it won't even be the same if they ported it to the Nintendo Switch. You wouldn't have that sweet double screen functionality. The games wouldn't be the same. The games that you grew up with wouldn't be the same at all. They would remove that, completely remove it. Even if they somehow reworked it and made it work on the Nintendo Switch, it wouldn't be the same. You don't have those two screens. Those two screens are what made everything so good. But now, the deep dark hole that Nintendo put themselves in, emulation. We all heard about it. People are getting these games from random places and deciding to play them on either computers or phones. Now, because Nintendo did this, they themselves did this to themselves. It's kind of weird. Anyways, they did this. They could easily have brought these games to the Switch. Did they? A few. But that doesn't include The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. That was one of my fav favorite games on the Nintendo 3DS. Super Mario 3D Land was also fantastic. They have 3D World on the Nintendo Switch, but to be honest, 3D Land is probably the greatest game. 3D Mario game. I don't know about, I don't know what is with it, but for some reason, that game holds so much joy to me. Now, because Nintendo done this, people are figuring out how to play games online via third party application. But this is not even the same, not even close to the same. Cause you either have to use a strange controller or a mouse and keyboard. But anyways, that stuff is a deep dark back hole that I don't even want to get into because it's bad. Okay. Now, yesterday, this eclipse that went on. Was it great? Did you did this guy get super dark where you live? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you like how Nintendo buried this underneath what is going on in the world instead of just hey, we're gonna get rid of the thing? No, nope, on that day, that's fine. That's that's pretty cool. Whatever, bury it. Anyways, long live the king, the Nintendo 3DS. This console is fantastic. I absolutely love this console handheld device the handheld the nintendo 3ds is phenomenal like you don't understand how amazing it is maybe you do but the nintendo 3ds is the king of all handhelds there's no other handhelds that c comes close to the nintendo 3ds this console is one of the best consoles, if not the best handheld that Nintendo has released. The game library was fantastic. The 
interesting mechanic of having a top screen and a bottom screen. Beautiful. Playing games on that thing is amazing. There's nothing that comes close, and I miss the 3DS. 3DS will always hold a special place in my heart. Long live the king. Anyways, how do you feel about the closure of the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U online functionality? Do you think it's saddening? Do you think it's your final fix? You don't even use it. What do you think? Leave a comments in the comment section down below and thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's a sad time for these consoles. Sad, sad time. But yeah. Let me know what you think about this. Y yeah. And uh, thanks for watching. Consider dropping a like, maybe subscribing if you are new. And with that being said, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.